Hey everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group. You know, it's Christmas Eve and I said I wasn't going to do a video, um, but then I um, spent a little time talking to some of the moderators and one of them challenged me to do something very specific and so I decided I would do a really quick video on it because I think it is a very um, helpful thing to talk about and a useful tool that we're going to go over. Um, but it was one that I actually did not know how to use very well and so I had to push myself a little bit and learn how to do it um, because I was actually going to do a video about this uh, last uh, a couple weeks ago and ended up not doing it just because it was frustrating me so much um, and yeah so without further ado let's talk about it um, so a couple of um, uh, I guess a few months back I put out a video about chaining and doing chips on uh, tips on chaining um, because I am not very good at chaining um, and so uh, when they released the newest auto repeat feature um, that lets, you know, lets you do chains um, less manually and just let the computer do it for you I was actually really excited about it um, now I, I will say that after spending some time working on it and playing with it and figuring out how to do it it's not as useful as I thought it was going to be like I, I kind of originally thought and hoped for um, the ability to just create macros and while you can't just create macros what you can do is set up um, set up a, a, a series of, of actions that your team is going to do every turn um, or um, and, and then just repeat those without only having to push one button which is really really nice um, so if you are good at chaining or if you can just set up a chain one time and then just hit repeat every time uh, once you set up your your settings correctly you can do that um, what, what this is not good at um, is you know deciding in the middle of in the middle of action uh, combat like okay this next turn i'm gonna do a hundred point chain so i'm gonna just you know set, set up these buttons and do it the right way does not quite work that way um it is still a useful feature and um, actually uh, i was watching i've been watching some of um, senzar's jp videos and seeing him set up these like sustainable repeat automatic repeat um uh teams that that can take on some of the newest trials that are just absolutely ridiculous and he's going to do it in like you know 500 turns or something like that doing the same turn over and over and over again um that this repeat function is perfect for that um but it's not necessarily perfect for like you know like i said trying to create a macro to do a 100 point chain in the middle of combat it does not work like that but i'm going to show you how to use it um and just to kind of give you a little insight into uh, the uh, the process that brought this along um, here was a conversation I was we were having in the, <laughs> amongst the moderators I was gonna do a video on this using it one week but I couldn't get consistent results uh, do a video on it anyway but I don't want me to look silly for not knowing how to do it um, I look silly all the time don't be scared Kupo and then I said I mean I've already got a hand puppet you know the hand puppet Sharky Sharky's not here with me tonight. Sharky's sleeping up in my daughter's room, um, so I didn't want to interrupt her sleep um, and uh, get Sharky uh, from her room, but I decided to go ahead and just have Sharky the picture here with us. Sharky's going to help us out with our chaining. Um, so yeah, uh, as always, I'm going to demonstrate this in the, um, in the uh, training dummy room, just because you've got free turns and, and you can do this you know, kind of unlimited without any threat of anything hurting you. Um, good place to practice. I'm going to show you the team that we're bringing. Um, I'm just bringing a bunch of chainers that all happen to be able to do triple cast Stardust Ray and then a capper just to demonstrate how you can, you know, set up a, a, a kind of a specific chain and cap the way you want it to. Um, and then we'll look at that. So um, to, before we get, I'm going to go ahead and start the battle. Save us some time here. So I'm going to remove this. Um, there are three different types of ch uh, repeating you can do. Um, the first one is just off. This is the old version of the repeat that we used to have, where it would just automatically repeat the last actions without any concern for timing of those actions. It just kind of fires them all off randomly. Um, that is not very good. You might get a little bit of a chain out of that, depending on just how the computer does it, but you know, it's not gonna very, very consistent results. Um, the next one is repeat last sequence, and this repeats the actions that you do in the order and timing that you press them every time so the computer remembers okay i did this unit this unit this unit this unit and then my capper um and it does in the timing and sequence so like you can if you can set up a good you know pattern for it you can do that that macro it's, it kind of creates a macro you can do that every time um, and so i'll demonstrate how that works um, and then x frame interval it repeats the last actions you did in the order you press them at the chosen interval um, and so I, I'm going to basically just go jump out and say you pretty much never want to use off. Um, off is pretty useless um, unless you're just repeating a bunch of actions and don't care when they're going to fire. 
Um, repeat last sequence is great if you're doing chaining into capping. Um, and then X frame interval is really, really great if you're just doing, you know, all five of my units are gonna use the same chain family skill three times. That's perfect for that. So let's demonstrate actually that one first. To get to this, you're gonna go into the menu, which is at the bottom here. And you're gonna go into options and you scroll down to your battle options and here they are, um, repeat type. Come on, there we go, repeat type. You've got off, repeat last sequence and one frame interval. Um, we're gonna demonstrate that one first. So here's one frame interval, right? Back and back. And we're just gonna do triple cast Stardust Ray on all of my people. Let's do shift form, yeah, shift form. Okay, here we go. Let's triple cast Stardust Ray. Sorry, this part is time consuming, but the, the repeat feature is gonna make this not time consuming, so that's very good. All right, now you'll notice, I'm gonna click all these, um, you know, ran not at randomly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do them timed so you can kind of get a sense of like how I'm doing it. So just like, you know, we'll do Zahn, Cloud, Alina, Bradley, Sephiroth, you know, and, I, and I'm, it, it is chaining because the skills are all the same, so they're gonna do a little bit of chaining, but it's obviously not perfect. You know, um, we got a 25 hit chain maximum, not very much damage at all. Um, and before I just hit repeat, I'm gonna show you here. So if you click on menu again and you go to repeat details, repeat details is gonna show you what is going to be copied. Um, so if you notice, um, Zahn was zero, Cloud was at 69 frames later, 105 frames later, 174. Elena and Radley kind of went quickly after. And then Sephiroth, we waited a long time. Okay. Because we are on repeat, or I'm on one, I'm on X frame interval, but I have it turned down all the way down. What it's actually gonna do when I hit repeat is it's not gonna do it in the interval that I tapped them in. It's gonna, it's gonna repeat everybody in the same sequence at one frame um, difference. So what should happen this time is instead of getting that random 25 hit chain, um, with, with not very much damage is we should get a much, much bigger chain. Uh, let's see if we did it right. Much, much bigger without having to do any timing or tapping. All I had to do is hit repeat. To demonstrate why that worked, you know, I said it, it was just gonna be one frame, it was in the same order in one frame difference. Zero, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna hit that chain every time. You're not gonna have any issues with, you know, timing the chain. It's just gonna do it because they're, they're just gonna fire all of those skills in the same sequence, one frame apart. Okay, so the next one we're gonna demonstrate is repeat last sequence. Whoa. Oh, uh, let's talk about the frame interval here. So I had it set to one frame interval um, to make it all uh, one frame interval. So you can see that they're all firing, you know, in sequence one frame apart which makes the chain really easily if you wanted to for some reason you could spread this out and make them longer frame intervals um but you're gonna have to get pretty good at knowing like when units fire their skills to do that if you're just trying to create a big chain just do one frame interval that's my tip there sharky suggests one frame interval okay uh the next one we're gonna do is repeat last sequence so this one it repeats the actions in the order you time them in the order you press them. So it does, it's gonna do whatever I tell it to do in that timing, in that order. Um, and to demonstrate this, um, because I'm playing on an emulator, I created a macro that's gonna fire all four of these at the same time. And then I'm gonna manually click Sephiroth on his own. All right, and I'm not, I'm not repeating yet. This is just, you know, I'm, I'm giving, I'm teaching the computer what I want it to repeat. Um, so again, we're doing Stardust Ray on everybody. Okay, triple Stardust Ray. And triple, nope, triple Stardust Ray. So I'm going to fire these four and then I'm gonna just wait a little bit and then trigger Sephiroth. Here we go. Should create a big chain with a big cap. There it was, 120 hits, right? 10.5 billion, very nice. So, um, if I go to the menu again, go to repeat details, this is what it's gonna repeat, right? Everybody's starting at frame zero and Sephiroth 63 frames later. Um, if we did it right, you know, we've got it set to repeat last interval. All I should have to do is hit repeat right here. It's gonna do that same exact thing, 120 hit chain, Sephiroth capping kind of near the end. 
Um, and then if we go back into details again, after it's done, it should show us that same thing, 0, 0, 0, 0, 63. So here we go, repeat. Oh, you know what happened? <laughs> okay, here's what happened with that. Bradley ran out of MP. I forgot I'm, MP is a big deal. But if you if we look at it again, though, right? It still says the same thing. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 63. So it still did it. Um, it's just because Bradley ran out of MP, it didn't work. Um, so I guess I could do it with... Let's do it with just one chain. That'll, that'll, that'll still prove my point. We'll just do one. Everybody can do one. No, you you do your lemon burst. There we go. One. Can you do one, Bradley? Can you do one? You can do one. All right. So we'll do the same thing. I'm teaching it, um, and then I'm going to do it on the next turn. Here's teaching it. Okay. I didn't cap it properly, but the, the point is going to be still there, right? Zero, 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 132. If I just hit repeat, there we go. They're all firing at the same time. And he's going to go in there and not cap his move. <laughs> Should still be the same. 44 hits. Okay, 132. So that's that's it. It's still doing it. I'm just not. I'm not timing it, or I'm not. Um, I'm not timing the cap properly. So um, that is again the repeat last sequence. Um, the last one is just random, right? So if it, the off, this is the old one. So if I just hit, uh, if I just hit repeat now, it's gonna fire all those skills in his limit burst, and uh, it's just gonna be kind of like randomly and not chain at all. Probably it might chain a little bit, but it's not gonna be anything at all like the, the 120 hit chain we were hoping for. Um, there we go. Like, it just kind of hit things randomly. Like, yeah, it's chaining. But if we look in the chain details here, yeah, only 38 hits. Not that good. Random hits, right? So 0, 10, 32, 38, 39. Like, it's just randomly pushing the buttons. Um, and that's not very good. Unless we're doing something that is, you know, not timed specifically. Like, I'm just kind of casting heals and buffs and dispels and just random stupid stuff. You know, it doesn't really matter what I'm timing it as. Um, you can use that off for that, but um, repeat last sequence and X frame interval are better for if you're trying to use this as a pseudo chaining macro. Um, and so where you would want to use this ideally um, is, I'll go ahead and exit out of this. Where you'd want to use this ideally is uh, for setting up your raid team. You know, raid teams or um, King Mog events, you know, where you're just going to go in and grind the same fight over and over and over and over again, and all, you're going to do it all on one turn anyway, so who cares? Um, the uh, the repeat last sequence and the X-frame interval is, is really, really good for that. Um, so setting that up just to save you the time of not having to go in and manually click in each entry and time it right and tap it. Once you get the timing saved on the the um, the device, once the once you're your, your game knows, okay, this is the interval I want to do. Just hitting repeat, you know, over and over again, if you've got it set up right, um, is going to help you do that. And so that is my, my tips and my, my guide for how this works. So, um, again, you know, X frame interval, if you're going to be doing just all of everybody doing the same skills and you don't have to worry about timing or tapping it, you're just teaching, you just teach the, the game what you want to use. And it does it again next turn, you know, However many frames apart you tell it to do, one is going to get you that, that really good chain every time. Repeat last sequence, you have to time it at least once when you're tapping in all the entries. But once you do, you just hit repeat over and over again, and it's going to do the same timing every time. Um, and you're going to do it the way you want, as, as you've taught it to. Um, both of those are good for, um, for, for raids. Both of those are good for King Mogs. Uh, repeat last sequence becomes very important only if the timing is very important um, and off is just going to fire off randomly and it's not that useful unless the timing does not matter um, and there you go that's my recommendations on that so hopefully that is helpful um, I definitely was you know um, excited to learn a little bit about how to use the feature a little better um, like I said it's not as exciting as being able to create a macro or like an auto clicker um, but if you're playing on um, a device that does not support 
um, auto clicking, um, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it's a way to at least get a little bit of that um, for like raids and King Mog events and stuff like that, where you don't have to worry as much um, about uh, efficiency. You can at least save a little bit of time by just having to hit repeat um, and uh, blow up the boss that way. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, repeat your way to victory. You know, it took way, way longer to talk about than I really wanted to. Um, and like I said, it is Christmas Eve, so um, I hope everybody out there who does the Christmas Eve thing and the Christmas thing has a great Christmas. And if you don't do the Christmas Eve and Christmas thing, hope you have a good holiday or day with your family or day with your friends or whatever it is you do. Um, enjoy it and be safe with each other. Um, and have a good evening and a great weekend. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>